So this is gonna be a really quick video on a race I did on Zwift last night. If you're only here because of the clickbaity Coach Greg title that I'm gonna give this, he does feature in this video briefly. I'll put the timestamp down here. You can jump to the point where he shows up. He'll be the one in a giant pink onesie disappearing into distance. You can see him and then leave if you want, I guess, for everybody else. This is really just to document my progression back to fitness and also highlight my thought process as I go through an actual ride. If you follow the channel, you'll know that I ended last year as a reasonable C category rider, but after a few months off at the beginning of this year, especially waiting for the Wahoo Kicker Bike to be replaced, my training was suboptimal to say the least. I dropped back to being a pretty mediocre C category rider. As you'll see from the race, my journey back to where I was is halfway there. Okay, so here we go, a few seconds from the start. This is a super short race, just over six kilometers long. It is gonna be hard from the start, even more so than a normal Zwift race. They all go a bit mad off the line. And so here I am, having to do anywhere between five, 600 watts just to keep out in that front group. Uh, but it does work, it effectively puts me up in first place at one point, therefore I can back off slightly down to under 200 watts at one stage and let the group form back around me exactly where I want to be. In this early stage here, my only priority is to stay in the front group, keep the leaders in sight. I do not want to be getting dropped this early into such a short race. I'm focusing on keeping my revolutions per minute that I'm pedaling at around 90. That's just comfortable for me. This course is not hilly, but it's got lots of ups and downs. So I'm watching the gradient and when it increases and therefore my, my RPMs drop below 90 down to the 80s, I'm flicking through the gears, just bringing them back up again, keeping my legs spinning. Now here, I've got the invisibility power up. Uh, I got rid of it because I thought it's a bit useless. I thought I might pick up a better one later in the race, but actually there weren't any others to have. With hindsight, as you'll see later on, I should have kept it until the end. Here, one minute, 30 seconds in, that's all. And already a very distinct group has formed at the front and I'm right in the middle of it, exactly where I wanna be. And nothing much happens until around two minutes, 30 seconds in. I notice there's a hill coming up, but I know that this course doesn't have much climb on it, so it can't be long. Now, lighter riders do get an easier time on hills, but to a certain extent, power is power. I can climb a short hill pretty quickly just by dumping some watts into it. So the gradient increase here, it says we're going up three, four percent, it's rising and rising. I just dig down, drop 500 watts on it, close to 600 watts at one point, 10% gradient in the end, but actually I moved myself up through the pack into second place by the top of the hill. And you can actually see that the front group got quite stretched out there on that climb. That is exactly the sort of situation where I could find myself at the back of a group that then splits and I then lose the leaders. Here though, I'm good, I'm where I wanna be. There is some guy gone off ahead up front. I'm not worried about him. There is no way he will sustain that on his own up there. We'll catch him back up. I just concentrate on staying with these riders at the front. In my mind at this point is that with this group so stretched, it could so easily split. And if that does happen, I wanna be splitting with the front group, not getting left behind. And in fact, you can see now, as you come up here towards four minutes in, there is now a very distinct break in the group. I'm in the right part though, so no issue. Now, normally at this stage here, this would be a bit worrying to be at the back of this lead group. It'd be really easy to get dropped off the back and into the chasing pack and stuck with them. I don't wanna lose these guys, but I can see that there is a descent coming up and I'm pretty good going downhill. So I drop a little wattage kick and I'm now rolling down the hill. I can drop my wattage. In fact, it goes down to low 200s, but downhill with my weight, that's enough to literally move me back to the front of the pack. Again, another descent coming up. So again, I don't mind that I'm at the back here. I can go low 200s, under 200 watts at one point. Still, it doesn't matter. My weight moves me to the front and back in the lead. Going downhill is very cool. We're back on the flat here. I'm nicely in the middle of the group, feeling pretty comfortable. At this point, I'm taking it easy. Pretty low wattage actually, just getting dragged along with the group. It's hilly now and again. I'm fiddling with the gears just to keep my legs spinning. No real problems though. 
Okay, let's forward to seven minutes in. 1.6 kilometers to go, steep gradient coming up, and this would be a terrible time to lose the leaders. If I drop them now, they are gone. So dig down, 500 watts, keeps me in the middle of that group. And I'm also being very mindful here, so close to the finish of anyone breaking off the front. One person going would be going too early, so they're not a concern. But two or three riders going off together could have a chance, so I'm keeping my eye on that. And so here, coming up to one kilometer to go, and this group now has the feel of a group that could easily split. I'm not too concerned about being at the back of it, I'm more concerned about how far in front the leaders are who I would need to catch up with. So this is nice, 600 meters to go, right in the thick of it, it's downhill, it's perfect for me. At this point, my objective is now to win this race. Now here, 400 meters, if I had the ghost power up still at this point, I'd have gone invisible, I'd have started a medium degree sprint. By the time they saw me, it would have been too late, I'd have been gone. I don't have that, so instead I'm waiting for just under 300 meters to go before I kick, moving through the field. This guy that's gone off the front, he's got the aero power up. If I was at peak fitness, I dropped 1200 watts at this point, I would catch him, he is crushed, but I'm not anywhere near peak fitness. So mentally, I have to just let him go, concentrate on coming in second behind him. I peak at 1,000 watts, which is a bit rubbish, but I get second place. Ah, come on. Jumping over onto Zwift Power. Not everyone registers for Zwift Power, and even some that do get deleted if their results are deemed to be inappropriate for the category they're riding in. As such, I ended up being credited with first place. 340 watts average, 3.4 watts per kilo. But you can still see these five and 15 second wattages, they're not where they should be. Really, they are, they're probably 200 watts down on what my peaks are. But I'm definitely feeling fitter, I'm feeling faster, I'm feeling lighter. Again, it's good to be racing back at 100 kilos rather than the 105, 106 that I had been racing at. It's all looking pretty good. But I said at the beginning of all this that my recovery back to full fitness is halfway there and this next one sums it up. I will load the race up. This was a two-parter last night. You did the first one at 9 p.m. straight into the second race around 9.30. Now after the first race at 9 p.m., if I can find the second one, I was actually ready to just call it quits and leave it there. But I noticed that Coach Greg was racing in the second race. Uh, if you don't know who Coach Greg is, he's a gigantic fitness YouTuber, pro bodybuilder, big Zwift cyclist. Uh, he's always been part of my motivation for cycling. He's one of the reasons I got a bike in the first place. Certainly one of the reasons I race on Zwift. He's a big guy and does okay. I figured I might better do likewise. So I've ridden with him a couple of times. Just coincidentally, we happen to be racing at the same time. He's always beaten me by some margin. Uh, I'm hoping that won't be the case forever, but you never know. So seeing him in a race, I thought, I've got to go for it, I've got to have a little go. Now, he didn't race in race one, so trying to keep up with him when I'm tired in this race is probably going to be a slightly pointless task, but I couldn't turn down the opportunity, so I had a go. Uh, same again, 500 watts to hold on to that front group. In case you're wondering, Coach Greg is in, as I said, the giant pink onesie on a giant pink bike. So far, so good for me. The trouble is, I'm tired. My pulse, as you can see, is already running at 165. We're seconds in, and I'm already right up there. Around a minute in, and I'm realizing I'm not holding on to the leaders. Already this group is starting to get stretched out. Where I should be when this happens is up the front. So if it splits, I'm in the right place, as I was in the first race. I see a descent coming up, and I figure that I can use that to catch back up again but I just don't take advantage. I should have been doing 400, 500 watts coming into this tunnel just to grab back onto that lead group. Looking at the group on the overhead, you can see the split, it's already underway. The only chance I've got now is to get back into that group quickly. I just don't have the leg power. In fact, as we exit the tunnel, it's kind of game over. We, as a, the little group that's behind here, are just not gonna be able to make the jump to catch the leaders. I have to just accept I'm now in this second group. It's incredibly annoying because just looking at it now, it looks so straightforward, just push and catch up with them. How hard can it be? But at the time, I just had nothing left. So 
uh, there goes Greg uh, and the others. And I have to settle in with this group, uh, just watch them ride off. And we ride around as a little group ourselves. Uh, I'm quite comfortable with that. I readjust my expectations of what I'm going to try and achieve, and it is now win this second group. I'm fairly comfortable here. I don't think I've got much of a sprint finish in me, but you never know. And with 700 meters to go, I'm nicely positioned. I'm right in the middle of this group. If I was fresh or fitter, or fresh and fitter, ideally, then this would be a good spot to make a move from with three or 400 meters left. As it is though, I just stay where I am and I watch what everyone else is doing. This guy shoots off, I go with him, probably shouldn't have, should have left it because that then means that others catch me up. I'm now ending up leading the, the charge and there's no drag for that. I've got others now coming up behind me. I prefer to be chasing from the back. They're dropping their aero turbo power-ups and I end up below average. If we jump over onto Zwift Power, I'm down in ninth out of 17, which is literally below average, uh, 2.9 watts per kilo. The race before, 3.4 watts per kilo. So you can see I just don't quite have that endurance back yet. Annoyingly, Greg, who won it, well done Greg, uh, 3.4 watts per kilo. I should have been fresh. So there you go, I am no way near back to full fitness yet, but I am making some steps towards it. Hopefully you found it useful. Stick some comments down below if you've got some feedback, either things you think I could be doing better or differently or different tactics uh, or just something amusing to say, that'll do me. Also like and subscribe please. I'll also stick a link down to Greg's channel below if you're into your healthy fitness, your nutrition, you're working out, he's an excellent source of information on all that stuff. Just don't ask him about fashion tips for your Zwift avatar, says the guy dressed as a 1980s action man.